Hello everyone, my name is Commander Cronverge. Welcome to my personal review of the Toby IX eye tracking device. Um, I've been using this device for a couple of months now. I bought it initially when I saw a video of uh, Obsidian Ant showcasing the piece of hardware and I thought it was brilliant simply because I was using a telephone or an Android smartphone to do my head tracking in the past. If you go and check out my channel, you can uh, see two seasons of myself uh, playing Elite Dangerous when it was initially released. The uh, original recordings are in German though, so um, you probably won't understand a word unless you speak German, obviously. <laughs> but uh, yeah, feel free to check those videos out if you're still interested. Um, anyway, yeah, a year has passed since my uh, last videos and I picked up this lovely piece of software a couple of months ago simply because the uh, smartphone head tracking wasn't a real long-term solution for me and it was just really, really cumbersome having a, a heavy piece of headphone uh, on my head plus the phone attached with attached to it with a USB cable running to the PC so it would be powered long enough um, for about maybe about two hours until the battery ran out even it was connected per USB the input lag wasn't really perfect and it was just really annoying so the Toby IX uh, eye tracking device seemed perfect um, I ordered it right away and uh, when the uh, hardware was released it was very very buggy and not really reliable so um, I forgot about it for about two months. I also stepped back away, uh, stepped back from Elite Dangerous, and I uh, just reinstalled the software again. And I promptly got a new update for the latest version. Um, latest version, on, yeah, say about mid-April. Um, it's running great. There are a couple of more features um, compared to the uh, original version that they had at the beginning. And the uh, the software and the hardware they work flawlessly now, and it's a real, real immersive experience now. Especially if you do not want to have a, say, like a head tracking device um, attached to your head, or if you don't have the money or even the processing power to buy a virtual reality headset like the Oculus Rift or a HTC Vive or whatever other virtual reality device you can think of. So here, like I said, I just wanted to showcase my settings and my initial feeling with the uh, with these hardware. Um, I'll just turn on the eye tracker so you get a rough sense of what I'm doing. Um, yeah, right now I am literally just looking around with my eyes. My head is not moving. Unfortunately, you can't tell, I know. Uh, but this is how it looks. I can look around, look around from left to right. The settings provided within the software are very moddable, um, or moddable to any personal's choice, depending how far or how close you're sitting to your monitor screen. Um, I'm uh, using a 24-inch Full HD monitor. I'm sitting about an arm's length away. I can just barely, barely touch the screen for where I'm sitting. Um, I'll post my settings in the description below um, because the um, original default settings uh, that Toby provides for the head tracking device in Elite Dangerous are way too sensitive. As you can see, I'm getting a little distracted by the security ship that's flying around over there. Um, yeah, no, like I said, the uh, uh, default settings that Toby provides are l way too sensitive. So I played around a bit. It took me about... I'd say 20 minutes for the uh, initial setup and then um, as I went along uh, I <coughs> oh sorry as I went along I um, fine-tuned a little bit and the settings that you can uh, read in the description are my final settings for now so like you can see I'm sitting in a Python um, I am running a community goal right now let me uh, just have a look on the other side so I can show you it's called uh, Phoenix from the Flames. We're at tier two right now. Um, I am currently in the top ten with uh, just over two and a half thousand tons collected. Uh, let me go to the other side. I think yes. I already picked up the necessary power generators that I needed to go to the next station, um, which I will. Uh, I'll just go launch. 
Open up the galaxy map, pick the destination that I want. It's Morina. Let me do this really quickly. I think it's here. Beaumont or Beaumont. Beaumont Doc. My French is terrible, so excuse me if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. But yeah, as you can see, um, using this piece of hardware is just so good. I have a great overview. I don't have to move my head around or... Um, that was the thing that really, really turned me off and really annoyed me um, when I was using a phone as a head tracking device is that you move your head to either the uh, to the left or the right, um, but your eyes still have to stay focused on the middle of the screen. So initially with any head tracking device, you're always looking to the side and I mean moving your heads to the side to look where you want to go, but you have to, you know, you know what I'm saying. You move your head to the side, but your eyes are going this the different direction. And I thought just thought that was really, really annoying. Um, another thing about the Toby X, which I've uh, discovered, um, is it gave me a headache at the beginning. I'm not sure if it's the uh, infrared, or I'm pretty sure it was the infrared sensors that are built in with the with the piece of hardware that's connected uh, via USB and stuck to the bottom of my screen. Um, I had a similar feeling when I used the Oculus Rift for a first time and I was in the Oculus for about 45 minutes st with a maybe like five minutes pause in between but um, after my very first experience I had a headache for about a week because my brain, my eyes were so overwhelmed and so overexposed of the experience. And I had a similar thing with the Toby IX as well, that my eyes didn't really get used to, or weren't really used to having these infrared uh, sensors scanning um, my, uh, my eyeballs all the time. But um, now since I've been using it for a while, I've pretty much adapted it very well. I can go quite a while with uh, using the uh, Turbo IX device. I sometimes use it for uh, normal Windows desktop use when I'm tabbing between different programs, for example. And uh, yeah, it's just a really great piece of software. I'm going to overshoot this. Sorry about that. Yeah, too concentrated on talking to you guys instead of paying attention and how to fly properly. But yeah, here you can you can just get a really another good sense of how immersive this can feel and how much it helps really finding your way or the perfect flight path to your destination um, without taking your hands off your HOTUS or mouse keyboard or, or however you prefer flying in this game. What was really important for me is that the settings were responsive enough that I could switch from left to right quick enough without getting disorientated too fast. Um, but on the other hand, when I keep my um, uh, keep my visuals in the middle, that it wouldn't be too jerky and uh, wouldn't be jumping all around the place like it did with the default settings. And I think. I found a pretty good balance between both. Um, there is a feature within the software which is called Gaze Overlay, which shows you uh, where your eyes are looking. Unfortunately, um, DxTory doesn't record the uh, overlay. I haven't figured it out how to do it. But uh, I'm sure there are many, many, many other videos online of how the uh, gaze trace, that's how it's called, how the gaze trace works and you can see what I really mean. And like I said, it was really important for me just to feel, uh, just to get the sense of, okay, if I look around more in the center of the screen, that the 
the eye tracking is somewhat slow and um, the more further out to the corners I go uh, the, um, the, the quicker it gets. So, and another thing, if you, or if I'm using the eye tracking device while in the um, system menu, I'll have to use my joystick and, uh, or the joystick buttons to get around the menus, because with the, uh, with the mouse, for example, as you can see, I'm looking over here to this side, but it's tracking the middle part, which is a little bit annoying, so usually what I do when I'm in the system, I just turn it off, and then I can navigate via mouse. So let me just uh, sell this. There you go. Not making that much of a profit on these. I bought them for 111 and I'm just making just about 15,000 credits profit. Um, but with the leather on the way back it's another 38,000 I think. And uh, where it is? Bulletin board. Phoenix for Flames, there you go, 2,800, and I'm still top 10. So, let's see how this community goal goes in the next couple of days, still five days left, and um, I hope my personal opinion or my general opinion about the Toby IX software has helped you a lot, and thanks for watching. See you next time.